All right, so now that we've uh, introduced the derivative, um, let's go ahead and talk about understanding it. So um, this is extremely important here. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to talk about derivatives. So we have uh, five listed here, uh, maybe technically six, depending on how you look at it. But uh, anyway, what's important to recognize is that these are all the same thing here. So um, you could be asked different questions about derivatives, but they, you know, they might sound different, but they're really all asking you the same thing. So um, the first way you can ask about derivatives is just straight up by the definition. Uh, evaluate the limit as h goes to zero of f of c plus h minus f of c all divided by h. All right. So that's just by definition. Um, in words, in plain English, uh, you could say find the derivative of f of x at x equals c. So these two are exactly the same thing. Um, the third one uh, is algebraically find f primed of c. So that's um, that's also another way. So uh, here's three different ways so far that you could be asked to uh, find a derivative. Um, there are other types of notation here, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, but for now, we only need to worry about this one here. So um, the fourth way is geometrically or graphically. So uh, find the slope of the tangent line to f of x at x equals c. So remember, in the last video um, and the one before, we kind of briefly talked about how uh, the slope of the tangent line is the same thing as the uh, derivative, right? So um, we didn't mention this, but you could also say uh, the slope of the curve. So find the slope of the curve, y equals f of x at x equals c. So uh, slope of the tangent line at x equals c or slope of the curve at x equals c, they mean exactly the same thing. So um, if you're asked to find a derivative, you know, in terms of slope, you might be asked either one of these questions. Um, and what's really important to remember in general and this is true in general, um, always definitely remember this, is that a derivative derivative is x slope. Okay, so uh, derivative and slope are the same thing. Okay, so when you talk about finding the derivative of f of x at x equals c, that's the same thing as finding the slope of the curve y equals f of x at x equals c. So derivative and slope are the same thing here. Um, that's very important to remember. And uh, so that's four, maybe technically five. Um, these are kind of the same thing though. Uh, and then the fifth way is uh, physically, which we also already mentioned, uh, find the instantaneous rate of change of f of x when x equals c. So here are uh, five, maybe six different ways of saying the same thing. So um, if you're asked any one of these questions, you know, it's just like the same thing as just saying find the derivative. So uh, just by definition, evaluate this limit uh, in plain words in English, find the derivative of f of x at x equals c algebraically, just find f prime to c, uh, geometrically or graphically, find the slope of the tangent line or find the slope of the curve, all right, when x is c, and then physically uh, find the instantaneous rate of change of f of x when x equals c. So remember, we also talked about that connection. Um, the slope of the tangent line is the instantaneous rate of change. And remember, just by definition, that uh, is the derivative. So uh, these here, these are uh, five different ways of saying the exact same thing. So that's very important to uh, know there. And we'll see a bunch of examples in the next few videos.